In just a few hours, Louisiana will be able to view the solar eclipse. And over at the Lafayette Science Museum, they're offering you a chance to see the celestial event safely. But what is a solar eclipse? Renee Sonnier with the Lafayette Science Museum lets us know what we could expect. We'll see the sky darken um, to like a dusk or dawn-like light. We might even be able to see the planet Jupiter come out in the middle of the day. She also tells me that the museum will provide different ways for attendees to view the event. And we'll have solar eclipse glasses and we'll have some pinhole viewers, which is an indirect way to see the eclipse safely. Um, our telescopes have solar filters on um, the lens so that it's safe to view. I spoke with Dr. Carolyn Van, a local optometrist who tells me the risk of watching the solar eclipse without proper eye protection. There's a spot in the back of the eye called the retina. When the intense light goes in it, it could damage the cells of the retina, which could lead to blurry vision, distorted vision, and even permanent vision loss. There's even a medical term for this, solar retinopathy, also known as eclipse retinopathy. And just by looking at the eclipse for even a few seconds, it could cause irreversible damage to the eye. It's never safe to look directly at the sun. So even on a regular day when you're out and about walking around, you don't want to look up and stare at the sun with the um, unprotected eyes. Um, so for an eclipse, people are just a little bit more likely to want to see what's going on. So you want to make sure that if you're going to view the eclipse specifically, you want to have safe certified solar eclipse glasses. The partial solar eclipse viewing will be there from 9 to until 2.30 and the Science Museum will have a limited amount of eclipse glasses for safe out of this world viewing.